This session is designed to give you the basic fundamentals for sizing fuel gas piping used in a residential system. For this example, the gas being used has a specific gravity of 60 hundredths with an average heating value of 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot, supplied at a very low pressure, often less than 1 and 1 half pounds per square inch. When sizing your particular project, Use the British thermal units known as the BTU rating specified by the manufacturer of the appliance. Then divide this number by the average heating value of the gas to obtain the demand in cubic feet per hour required by each appliance. The average heating value of the gas may be obtained from the serving gas supplier. This illustration represents a gas piping system for a residence. We have located all appliances, assigned the BTU demand as specified by the manufacturer, and calculated the demand in cubic feet per hour. We have also noted the distance in feet from the meter to each appliance. The first step is to locate the most remote appliance from the meter. Based on adding up the lengths of pipe from the meter to each appliance, the range is the most remote. This will become the main supply line. We will now size the entire main supply line starting with the most remote section and working back to the meter. All of these sections total 62 feet. We will be using table 12-8 from the 2006 Uniform Plumbing Code. Notice in the codebook there are several tables. The main difference is in the type of pipe that can be used. They range from polyethylene to stainless steel. In this sizing example we will use the most common one table 12-8 for Schedule 40 metallic pipe. The length of run is noted in the left column and find the demand in cubic feet per hour to the right in the columns looking up to find the nominal pipe size required in the top row. Beginning at the most remote appliance and working back to the meter we have the range with a demand of 65 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8 under length in the left column, locate the row that will accommodate 62 feet, which is 70 feet. Once you locate the appropriate row, never change from this row when calculating the main supply line. You must use this row to size the entire main supply line. Again, locate the row that allows a length of 62 feet, which will be the 70 foot row, then look to the right to find the number that will allow 65 cubic feet per hour. 126 and see that a three-quarter inch pipe will accommodate the 65 cubic feet per hour demand for the range. Working backwards, the next section of pipe will be supplying the gas refrigerator which has a demand of three cubic feet per hour plus the 65 cubic feet per hour from the range for a total demand of 68 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8 70 foot row, 68 fits under 126 and see that a 3 quarter inch pipe will accommodate both the 4 foot and 6 foot sections. The next section of pipe will be supplying the branch to the barbecue with a demand of 50 cubic feet per hour plus the 68 cubic feet per hour from the previous appliances for a total demand of 118 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8 70 foot row, 118 fits under 126 and see that a 3 quarter inch pipe will accommodate the 118 cubic feet per hour demand for the 8 foot section. The next section of pipe will be supplying the branch to the fireplace log which has a demand of 25 cubic feet per hour plus the 118 cubic feet per hour from the previous appliances for a total demand of 143 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8, 70 foot row, 143 will fit under 237 and see that a 1 inch pipe will accommodate the 143 cubic feet per hour demand for the 6 foot section. The next sections of pipe will be supplying the branch line to the furnace which has a demand of 150 cubic feet per hour the water heater which has a demand of 50 cubic feet per hour and a clothes dryer which has a demand of 35 cubic feet per hour totaling 235 cubic feet per hour plus the 143 cubic feet per hour from the previous appliances for a total demand of 378 cubic feet per hour. 
refer to table 12-8, the 70-foot row. 378 will fit under 486 and see that a 1 and 1 quarter inch pipe will accommodate both the 19 foot and the 13 foot sections back to the meter. We have completed sizing the main supply line. The branch lines are sized slightly different. We no longer have to stay within one row based on the main line. The size of the branch pipes depends on two factors. The distance from the meter to the individual appliance and the demand in cubic feet per hour of the appliance. The 5 foot section supplying the refrigerator has a demand of 3 cubic feet per hour and is 61 feet from the meter. Refer to table 12-8, 70 foot row, 3 fits under 60 and see that a 1 half inch pipe will accommodate the 3 cubic foot per hour demand for the refrigerator. The 12 foot section for the barbecue is next and has a demand of 50 cubic feet per hour and is 58 feet from the meter. Refer to table 12-8, 60 foot row, 50 will fit under 65 and see that a 1 half inch pipe will accommodate the 50 cubic feet per hour demand for the barbecue. Next, the 15 foot section that supplies gas to the fireplace log has a demand of 25 cubic feet per hour and is 53 feet from the meter. Refer to table 12-8, 60 foot row, 25 will fit under 65 and see that a 1 half inch pipe will accommodate the 25 cubic feet per hour demand for the fireplace log. The water heater branch line is 51 feet from the meter and is the longest run in this multiple branch section feeding the three appliances in the basement. It should be treated as the main line for this branch section and all pipes in this main branch line will be sized using the 60 foot row. The 5 foot section that supplies the water heater has a demand of 50 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8. 60 foot row, 50 will fit under 65 and see that a 1 half inch pipe will accommodate the 50, feet cu 50 cubic feet per hour demand for the water heater. Next, the 4 foot section of pipe will be supplying the branch line to the clothes dryer with a demand of 35 cubic feet per hour plus the 50 cubic feet per hour of the water heater for a total demand of 85 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8, 60 foot row, 85 will fit under 137 and see that a 3 quarter inch pipe will accommodate the 85 cubic feet per hour demand for the 4 foot pipe. The next section, 10 foot of pipe will be supplying the branch line to the furnace with a demand of 150 cubic feet per hour plus 85 cubic feet per hour from the previous appliance for a total demand of 235 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8, 60 foot row, 235 will fit under 257 and see that a 1 inch pipe will accommodate the 235 cubic feet per hour demand for the 10 foot section. Now that we have sized the branch main line, we can change rows based on the distance the last two appliances are from the meter. The 5 foot section supplying the furnace is 47 feet from the meter with a demand of 150 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8, 50 foot row, 150 fits under 151 and see that a 3 quarter inch pipe will accommodate the 150 cubic feet per hour demand for the furnace. The 2 foot section supplying the clothes dryer is 48 feet from the meter and has a demand of 35 cubic feet per hour. Refer to table 12-8, 50 foot row, 35 will fit under 72 and see that a 1 half inch pipe will accommodate the 35 cubic feet per hour demand for the clothes dryer. We have now completed sizing both the main supply line and the branch lines. In conclusion, we understand that this presentation by no means covers every type of gas piping system possible. This presentation is designed to give you a basic understanding of the steps involved in sizing a simple residential gas piping system. Thank you.